Ever have your phone die, but there's no outlet nearby? Ever crack your phone? Ever lose your wallet? Solve all these problems with juice box cases. Our three-in-one design combines a wallet, a phone case, and a portable charger all into one, making it one of the most convenient and functional products on the market. Hi, my name's Holly Meyer, and I'm the Chief Executive Officer. Hi, I'm Colin Bach, I'm the Chief Marketing Officer. I'm Jared Seltzer, I'm the Chief Operations Officer. I'm Andy Hines, I'm the Chief Customer. Well, we're in the class thinking of different ideas. We had a couple with phone cases and then decided, well, I have a wallet case and my phone's always dead, so why not put them together? So what we learned about our customer base is that there was a problem through our surveys that not many people always have a charged phone when they're at work. And along with that, many people have lost their wallets or don't have room for both or forget one of them. So we wanted to put them, both of those together in juice box cases. And our target market, we decided would be business professional, but we, just, we also decided to go with early adopters, which uh, our early adopters are business professionals who travel due to the fact that they always need a charge phone and their wallet with them at all times. Some things that did shock me is like how um, low it does to cost to make um, one unit or the cogs. And then another thing that shocked me was like our SG&A, we were told that the final pitch was off. So I do wish if I would go back to kind of research that more. But it was interesting to find out what specifically we needed to bring into our business and what kind of insurance we would need and how much an LLC costs. And all those stuff, not only the coaches helped, but we were able to find ourselves how much that all costed. And then calculating our revenue was kind of a cool thing to see to see how much um, our company could grow and the real validation of it. Uh, so I thought the MVP pitch really helped us and it gave us a lot of feedback um, and the investors did a great job of telling us what we needed to work on and what we could be better with and uh, it really helped us expand on our uh, Tam and Sam and it gave us a better idea of what uh, the market we're really working with. So uh, I thought the MVP pitch was really good for us. Well, for our MVP validation, we found that from researching online, uh, there's many factors that play into our UV. Promotion and sales was something we tried to focus heavy on throughout the semester since it was something we all had a little bit of expertise on. Um, since our product had so many different and unique aspects to it, it was unlike anything on the market, which was also our UVP, is that we had so many um, different aspects into one um, product, so it was attainable to a lot of people on the market. And so promotion and sales was something we focused heavy on and researched a ton to see what would be the best way to market it out and get it out to our target market. Uh, I felt like the final pitch really gave us an opportunity to learn and continue to be successful with our public speaking and growing on that. And uh, I think also during the speech, we really impressed the investors with our market share and how high it was. They thought that uh, that was really awesome. So I think the final pitch was great. Well, at first, we designed the product to apply to kids and teens. Uh, but once we started interviewing people, we started to see that our case applies to those of older age. Uh, this is exactly what we're trying to do. And yeah, uh, we found from the face to face interviews that our direct target market is not very much sleep. Design of the uh, wall, which is actually at least three. Additionally, adding that to our business model campus that has shifted throughout the school year is because at first the wireless charging attachment inside the case, we wanted it to receive the energy. I think a big part of us uh, collaborating successfully was with the help of our CEO, Melanie Meyer. Uh, she definitely helped us out and kept us going in the right direction. So uh, she distributed the jobs and told us what we need to do. So without her, uh, we'd be in a tough spot, but she was definitely a big role in that, making sure things ran smoothly. At first, we didn't know what to expect through with this class. So we were kind of more dependent on to Mr. Neubauer or some of the mentors or the coaches that came in and asked them for their advice. But eventually, once we got in the swing of things, we were able to rely on each other more and ask more individually um, inside the team instead of having to look to other people for help. And that's a huge step that we shifted towards, specifically this semester as well, is that we were able to kind of work on it from an inside standpoint. We didn't need to access more help because we were able to figure it out and on to it ourselves. Well, the two main adults we had were Mr. Russo and Mr. Neubauer. And what we learned basically is they had more experience in us and more knowledge in us, and they helped us learn new things and just be 
prepare for our future with the company and just future life. Um, I think like, at the beginning of the year, I'd get really nervous when I'd go up in front of people and uh, speak publicly, but now, after all this preparation and practice throughout the semester, I feel really confident. I feel like I can really project my voice to the audience and I go up there ready to do my own. Well, when each and every one of the group members has a very concise point that is both beneficial to the information being projected, uh, then thanks for the presentation. Well, thanks, Mr. Newman, for such an awesome year. It's been a blast. Mr. Russo, thank you for leading us along the way and getting us to the point where we are today. North Central Kids, thank you. We learned a lot. And thank you, Mr. Pickett, for helping us specifically on the MVP pitch day.